Rewilding is large-scale conservation aimed at restoring and protecting natural processes and core wilderness areas, providing connectivity between such areas, and protecting or reintroducing apex predators and keystone species. Rewilding projects may require ecological restoration or wilderness engineering, particularly to restore connectivity between fragmented protected areas, and reintroduction of predators and keystone species where extirpated. The ultimate goal of rewilding efforts is to create ecosystems requiring passive management by limiting human control of ecosystems. Successful long-term rewilding projects should be considered to have little to no human-based ecological management, as successful reintroduction of keystone species creates a self-regulatory and self-sustaining stable ecosystem, with near pre-human levels of biodiversity. Origin. The word rewilding was coined by conservationist and activist Dave Foreman, one of the founders of the group Earth First, who went on to help establish both the Wildlands Project now the Wildlands Network and the Rewilding Institute. The term first occurred in print in 1990 and was refined by conservation biologists Michael Soul and Reed Noss in a paper published in 1998. According to Soul and Noss, rewilding is a conservation method based on cores, corridors, and carnivores. The concepts of cores, corridors, and carnivores were developed further in 1999. Dave Foreman subsequently wrote the first full-length exegesis of rewilding as a conservation strategy. More recently, anthropologist Layla Abdulrahim offered a new definition of rewilding. Wilderness is a cumulative topos of diversity, movement, and chaos, while wildness is a characteristic that refers to socio-environmental relationships. According to her, because civilization is a constantly growing enterprise, it has completely colonized the Earth and imperiled life on the planet. Therefore, rewilding can start only with a revolution in the anthropology that constructs the human as predator. <laughs> History Rewilding was developed as a method to preserve functional ecosystems and reduce biodiversity loss, incorporating research in island biogeography and the ecological role of large carnivores. In 1967, the theory of island biogeography by Robert H. MacArthur and Edward O. Wilson established the importance of considering the size and isolation of wildlife conservation areas, stating that protected areas remained vulnerable to extinctions if small and isolated. In 1987, William D. Newmark's study of extinctions in national parks in North America added weight to the theory. The publications intensified debates on conservation approaches. With the creation of the Society for Conservation Biology in 1985, conservationists began to focus on reducing habitat loss and fragmentation. Topic: <laughs> Major rewilding projects. Both grassroots groups and major international conservation organizations have incorporated rewilding into projects to protect and restore large-scale core wilderness areas, corridors or connectivity between them, and apex predators, carnivores, or keystone species species which interact strongly with the environment, such as elephant and beaver. Projects include the Yellowstone to Yukon Conservation Initiative in North America also known as Y2Y and the European Green Belt, built along the former Iron Curtain. Transboundary projects, including those in southern Africa funded by the Peace Parks Foundation, community conservation projects, such as the Wildlife Conservancies of Namibia and Kenya, and projects organized around ecological restoration, including Gondwana Link, regrowing native bush in a hotspot of endemism in southwest Australia, and the area de conservation Guanacast, restoring dry tropical forest and rainforest in Costa Rica. European Wildlife, established in 2008, advocates the establishment of a European Center of Biodiversity at the German-Austrian Czech borders. In North America, another major project aims to restore the prairie grasslands of the Great Plains. The American Prairie Foundation is reintroducing bison on private land in the Missouri Breaks region of north-central Montana, with the goal of creating a prairie preserve larger than Yellowstone National Park. An organization called Rewilding Australia has formed which intends to restore various marsupials and other Australian animals which have been extirpated from the mainland, such as eastern quolls and Tasmanian devils. 1. Topic: Projects in Europe. 
In the 1980s, the Dutch government began introducing proxy species in the Oostvaartersplassen Nature Reserve in order to recreate a grassland ecology. Though not explicitly referred to as rewilding, nevertheless many of the goals and intentions of the project were in line with those of rewilding. The reserve is considered somewhat controversial due to the lack of predators and other native megafauna such as wolves, bears, lynx, elk, boar, and wisent. In 2011, the Rewilding Europe initiative was established with the aim of rewilding 1 million hectare of land in 10 areas including the Western Iberian Peninsula, Velbert, the Carpathians and the Danube Delta by 2020, mostly abandoned farmland among other identified candidate site. The present project considers only species that are still present in Europe, such as the Iberian lynx, Eurasian lynx, wolf, European jackal, brown bear, chamois, Spanish ibex, European bison, red deer, griffon vulture, cinereus vulture, Egyptian vulture, great white pelican and horned viper, along with a few primitive breeds of domestic horse and cattle as proxies for the extinct tarpan and aurochs. Since 2012, Rewilding Europe is heavily involved in the Tauros program, which seeks to recreate the phenotype of the aurochs, the wild ancestors of domestic cattle by selectively breeding existing breeds of cattle. Many projects also employ domestic water buffalo as a grazing proxy for the extinct European water buffalo. Two. In 2010 and 2011, an unrelated initiative in the village of San Cibrian de Muda 190 inhabitants in Palencia, northern Spain released 18 European bisons a species extinct in Spain since the Middle Ages in a natural area already inhabited by roe deer, wild boar, red fox and grey wolf, as part of the creation of a 240 hectare quaternary park. Three Przewalski horses from a breeding centre in La Villarette, France were added to the park in October 2012. Aurochs were planned to follow on the 11th of April 2013. Eight European bison, one male, five females, and two calves were released into the wild in the Bad Berleberg region of Germany after 300 years of absence from the region. Topic: <laughs> Pleistocene rewilding. Pleistocene rewilding was proposed by the Brazilian ecologist Mauro Galetti in 2004. He suggested the introduction of elephants and other proxies of extinct megafauna from circuses and zoos to private lands in the Brazilian Cerrado. In 2005, stating that much of the original megafauna of North America including mammoths, ground sloths, and saber toothed cats became extinct after the arrival of humans, Paul S. Martin proposed restoring the ecological balance by replacing them with species which have similar ecological roles, such as Asian or African elephants. A reserve now exists for formerly captive elephants on the Brazilian Cerrado 3. A controversial 2005 editorial in Nature, signed by a number of conservation biologists, took up the argument, urging that elephants, lions, and cheetahs could be reintroduced in protected areas in the Great Plains. The Bolson tortoise, discovered in 1959 in Durango, Mexico, was the first species proposed for this restoration effort, and in 2006 the species was reintroduced to two ranches in New Mexico owned by media mogul Ted Turner. Other proposed species include various camelids, equids, and peccaries. In 1988, researcher Sergei Azimov established the Pleistocene Park in northeastern Siberia to test the possibility of restoring a full range of grazers and predators, with the aim of recreating an ecosystem similar to the one in which mammoths lived. Yakutian horses, reindeer, snow sheep, elk, yak and moose were reintroduced, and reintroduction is also planned for Bactrian camels, red deer, and Siberian tigers. The wood bison, a close relative of the ancient bison that died out in Siberia 1,000 or 2,000 years ago, is also an important species for the ecology of Siberia. In 2006, 30 bison calves were flown from Edmonton, Alberta to Yakusk and placed in the government-run reserve of Ustbuotama. This project remains controversial. A letter published in Conservation Biology accused the Pleistocene camp of promoting Frankenstein ecosystems, stating that the biggest problem is not the possibility of failing to restore lost interactions, but rather the risk of getting new, unwanted interactions instead." The authors proposed that, rather than trying to restore a lost megafauna—conservationists should dedicate themselves to restoring existing species to their original habitats. See also Great Green Wall Involuntary Park Natural Landscape Reintroducing 
wildlife management. <laughs> 